Country music superstar. Yeah. Party. But you're a genre blender. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Screamo. No, that's a very, that's a very um, misused term. But you scream. I do, but You it's, like to scream. I do like to scream, yeah. How did you get into screaming? Were you a pussy as a child? <laughs> No. No, that's not how you got into it, or no, you weren't a pussy as a child. No, I don't. I don't think I was a pussy as a child. I don't know. Damn. <laughs> you're closing the back of your throat, so you're just going. Ah! Ooh. Can you try it? Ah! <laughs> that was bad. That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. I'm gonna have to pay Kim to cut that. That was so bad. How much? <laughs> I don't know if I could have that on the internet. <laughs> I don't know if I could have that out there. You gonna try again? I can't try again. Try it again. <laughs> I'm retiring. No more screaming for me. What's it like, Mississippi? It's good. But I, I, I feel like everybody knows everybody. There's like one degree of separation between everybody, I feel like. And sometimes not even that much, huh? Sometimes. Correct. But you're outsourced, right? <laughs> yes. My parents were not related. So they're related now, though. Yeah. Yeah. Do you worry about people who are trying to appropriate it? Appropriate your culture? I just do my thing, man. Try not to get involved in all that shit. <laughs> Those city slickers. Driving their Teslas, drinking their seltzers. Yeah. Not even at the same time. <laughs> do you mind if we do a new segment presented by Mamitas? <laughs> not at all. I'm gonna give you some topics or things that could be mentioned in a song. Okay. You tell me, is that a country song? Or is that another type of song? Okay. Okay? Yeah. We can fly through these. Okay. Cold beer. Country. Fried fish. Country. Back roads. Country. Rivers. Country. Those are all from the opening line of, your, of one of your songs. <laughs> Which one? My Kind of Living. Take me here where the beer is cold, the fish get fried and the fire by the go. Roll me down and something in the back road. Show me where the river runs. Damn. Well, that's, then I. So you were right. Yeah, I passed, right? Okay, good. Are there more? Is that, is that it? Do some more. What, what about, uh, how about this one? Block 45 with an extendo clip. <laughs>
<laughs> yep. Three letters. Yep. Mm hmm. Also, three letters. Uh. Would you have listened to your coach's play call if he would have called a better play? We were actually called the best play in football. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what's that? Victory. Mm -hmm. But you didn't run that play, did you? We did. We ran, we, we ran it. <laughs> we ran that play. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. We did ran it. We ran that play. So what are they even mad about? You ran the play. What's everyone all, all fussy about? Yeah. This new segment is called Role Play. Okay. You cool with that? I'm cool with that. So let's role play a situation. Right. You be James Winston. Okay. I'll play the general manager of the New Orleans Saints. Right. I'm the general manager, you're James. Okay. You're coming into my office. Action. Hey James, come on in. How you doing, uh, general manager? I just want- You want a drink? No, sir. Whiskey? No, sir. I got someone on the phone I want you to talk to. Yes. Hello. Hey, Jameis, it's Arthur Smith here. Hey, hey, coach. How you doing? Now, I just want to let you know that I uh, got fired 30 minutes after that play call. Coach, you you are an incredible coach. I just want to I want to apologize to you because I that was not my my intent was not to get you fired. Oh, Jameis, that's completely fine. I appreciate that. Still love you. I'm just hanging out with all the other fired coaches right now. I actually, I have someone else that wants to talk to you. If that's OK. OK. Hey, Jameis, it's Jimbo Fisher. What's up, coach? How are you? Oh, we're doing good. We're out here in Bora Bora. Wow. I'm making a million dollars a day. Coach, that's amazing. Can you please send me some money to my foundation just to show your support? I'll FedEx it to you. I'm here with Arthur Smith. His dad owns FedEx. We're fine. <laughs> well, coach, that's amazing. Please tell Arthur I said hello and y'all enjoy Bora Bora. Don't worry about us, brother. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> All right. See you, Jameis. All right. Thanks, coach. <laughs> I like that segment. Taylor was great. Yeah. She's great. But she's a girly girl. Wouldn't you want to see one of your big, tough tight ends date someone who's more manly? No. <laughs> I would not want to see that. Why? Huh? I mean, mm -hmm. I guess to each his own. This segment's called Manifesting Destiny. Okay. I'm going to say something, and then you say it back to me. All right. See if we can manifest destiny. I am Jameis Winston. I am Jameis Winston. I am a NFL Super Bowl winning quarterback. I am an NFL Super Bowl winning quarterback. I am in the Hall of Fame. I am in the Hall of Fame. I am the President of the United States. I am the President of the United States. I am brokering world peace. I am brokering world peace. I am concerned the CIA is not happy about what I've done to the military industrial complex. <laughs> Golly. I am concerned. I'm in Dallas. I am in Dallas. I am riding in my convertible. <laughs> I didn't have any other lines after that. That was where the story ended. <laughs> I figured. That was where your destiny ended. In Dallas? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Caleb Presley, host of The Show, Caleb Show. And today, Shane Gillis is going to show me his... Penis. Theater, sponsored by Stacker 2. Oh, fuck. <laughs> where do you sit the hot ladies? <laughs> yeah. There's no women. <laughs> it's just dudes. Oh, really? Yeah. All my shows are for dudes, <laughs> unfortunately. Mm -hmm. What is this? This is the concession stand. How many drinks does someone have to have to enjoy a Shane Gillis show? Uh, three. And how many drinks does a Shane Gillis have to have to perform a Shane Gillis show? <laughs> Usually five. <laughs> What's the most amount of drinks you've ever had? <laughs> Just ever. <laughs> I don't know. 40. <laughs> Probably have 40. What do you say to people who say, Shane Gill sits when he pees, <laughs> but he still points his wiener forward and pees on the wall of the stall? <laughs> what do you say to those people? What do you say to those people? I would say, I would say that's bullshit, dude. It's 
totally false. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. What's this? It's <laughs> a fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you always have to have a fire extinguisher ready. You have to have a plan. You have to have a plan. How often do fans evacuate your shows <laughs> when there's not a fire? It's, it's happened a lot. Yeah, people get upset and they leave and they yell at you mm -hmm. and then leave. You always have to have a plan. And do you believe in plans? <laughs> what about parenthood? What do you think about plan? parenthood? Parenthood. Uh, I'm for it. You ever done stand up outside of a Planned Parenthood? You ever stood outside of a Planned Parenthood? <laughs> yeah, I've been there, yeah. What are you doing there? <laughs> Just checking stuff out. <laughs> You're trying, trying to get some pussy. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? What are you up to? What do you say to people who say, even the fans who are not in the nosebleeds at a Shane Gillis show usually have nosebleeds? <laughs> I would say, yeah. Yeah. Some guys do cocaine. Mm. I, uh, I was just, uh... Hey! <laughs> I, I think it hurt, dude. <laughs> Where does your audience put their wheelchairs and guns? <laughs> There's not too many tickets available, I don't think. Actually, there probably is. You can just toss them in. What do you mean, toss them in? Well, I mean, check the wheelchair. There's gotta be, like, a... You think people are checking their wheelchairs? You're checking it like a coat check, and then... And then walk in. It, well, not walk, but somebody carries them in. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. You haven't thought about it a lot, have you? <laughs> yeah.